Hello and welcome back to the extremely articulated intro for this week's 2v Tuesdays with The Foreign. How are you doing, The Foreign? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. You did that intro much better than previous intros uh, that will not be named. <laughs> it's like people can understand me now or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Losing my mind over here. Um, <laughs> so today we were going to discuss a little bit about the new DLC map pack drop coming for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Uh, map pack revolution. Yes, revolution. Um, I'm pretty excited for it. I think it's um, well overdue for some new DLC, and some of the stuff that's going to be on it is pretty sweet. From what it, uh, like what it sounds grind? like, grind. Yes, yes, like grind. Um, and playing as a zombie. Playing as a zombie will be pretty sweet, but you don't play zombies. I might if I can play as a zombie. <laughs> I don't think that that's going <laughs> to entice you to play as a zombie. I mean, it's not like I don't enjoy zombies. I'm just really bad at it. We'll get better. I'm, I'm bad at fighting hordes of things coming at me, so I feel like if I'm part of that horde, I might do a little bit better. Maybe. But anyway, so for the DLC that is coming out, there is four multiplayer maps, a zombies map, a new zombies game mode, and then, for the first time ever, a gun DLC, the Peacekeeper SMG. Yes, it's like a hybrid SMG assault rifle. From what we know. We, you know, obviously we haven't played with it yet, so we can't really tell you what's actually good or bad about it. Um, but we will I know. I know thing is good about it, how it looks. It looks amazing. It does look <laughs> sweet. It's got a, what they call the UN white camo. Like, that's just like the standard gun look. So that'll be pretty nice. It's, it's different than, like, the, your normal gunmetal black and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but a little update. So the DLC actually comes out a week from today. So we will actually be doing either a live stream or a live commentary of us playing those new maps for the first time for 2v2 saves for next week. So we haven't decided if we're doing a live stream or if it's actually going to be a live com. But either way, it'll be a good time. Yeah. Yeah, it will be. It will be. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about Grind. Um, yes. Grind looks awesome. Just because I like the idea of playing in a skate park. I've always wanted to, actually, uh, for a long time I thought a skate park would make a good, like, venue for a map. But now that it's going to be in the game, I'm kind of worried about how it's going to work, like, functionality-wise. Seems like it might be a bit problematic. Uh, elaborate a little more functionality-wise. Like, what do you mean by that? Um, for instance, like... What's, uh, what's going to happen if someone, you know, goes prone and, like, tries to, like, scoot sideways up a quarter pipe? Are they going to, like, you know, fucking be, like, prone, like, mid-air, like, sideways, like, super camping spot? <laughs> like, you're never going to expect them to be there. Um, the round walls, I think, are going to end up being kind of a problem. Oh, it's going to make it, I think it'll make it a little bit harder for people to camp, but, um, it's going to make it harder to, you know, check your corners knowing where people are. It's all, it seems like it's just going to be a huge blur to me. I don't know. It's all just going to be a blur. Um, mm -hmm. I totally get what you're saying, and I think I think it's gonna have a lot to do with um, how the usability of the quarter pipes and like the curved walls is actually gonna like play an effect. Oh yeah, and if you can like walk right up the quarter pipe, dude, there's gonna be so many fucking head glitches. Like the head glitch wall on carrier is going to be the entire map of grind, if that's the case. Yeah. Now me and uh, Tony Stark, we were actually talking about the actual DLC. Um, I think it was on the sit down. And the way that we looked at it is, I hope that to get up a quarter pipe, you have to sprint. That it kind of goes back to, um, what is that, lookout from the 2v2, 3v3 maps? Where you had to actually sprint to get up that hill? You know what I'm talking about? Dude, that hill, I don't think it's that you had to sprint, I just think it was that that fucking hill was just a pain in the ass. Well, yeah, it was. But the thing is, like, I hope that... To get up the quarter pipe, you have to sprint. You can't just walk up and just grab and you just jump up. Yeah. So I'm hoping... I mean, depending on the size of So it. I'm hoping that they don't allow you to actually just walk up it so that you cannot actually use it as a head glitch because technically you'll be standing on a vertical piece, you know, which isn't technically possible, but it's Call of Duty, so anything's possible. Um, I, I hope they add a new game type with just that map. That is, like, uh, with skateboards. Like, you just move really fast on a skateboard, and then you have to kill each other. I'd like that. That would be <laughs> that would be pretty sweet, but I don't think that's going to happen. 
<laughs> That'd be awesome. I don't, no, what it's they definitely it? not gonna what happen. What do they call it? Uh, fucking skate apocalypse. Skate apocalypse. Nice, nice. It would be it would be a really cool addition if you could also play on these new maps with zombies. Yes, that would be amazing. Just like they have Nuketown zombies, it'd be cool if you could do grind zombies and like hydro and downhill and all that stuff. But anyways, you guys, be sure to go check out part two over on my channel. No doubt. And we will continue go. it there. Go.